Welcome to Data Analysis for Social Scientists. This is a course covering techniques in modern data analysis, from estimation and regression, to randomized control trials and A-B testing, to an introduction to machine learning and prediction and data visualization. My name is Maya Duru, and I'm the Program Director for the MicroMasters in Data Economics and Development Policy, or DEDP. And I'm Karin Chu. Assistant Director for Education for the IDSS MicroMasters Program in Statistics and Data Science, SDS in short. So there is a single shared content course for this course, which is housed on edX. And then learners who are interested in earning certificates towards either one of the MicroMasters programs are going to need to follow separate steps that we'll out outline in this video that will enable you to earn certificates in either program. So there's going to be two independent sets of processes that you're going to need to take if you're interested in earning either certificate. Learners have the option to take to earn both certificates if they want, to earn certificate in just one or the other uh, MicroMasters program, or to earn neither and take the course as audit only. So as Maya just said, Regardless of, regardless of whether you're interested in pursuing the DDP or SDS MicroMasters program, or if you just would like to learn material, all learners would be taking this content course, Data Analysis for Social Scientists. You would need to enroll on edX. You will notice that when you enroll, that it's free and audit only, and there's no option to verify. That's because this is where you learn all your material, but this is not where you will uh, earn any credential. You will then take the course, which lasts 11 weeks, roughly, meaning you will do finger exercises, homework, and there's one in-course final exam, and you will share your ideas with fellow learners on the discussion forum. To pass the course, you need to earn an overall course grade of greater than 50%. Great. So conditional on all of these steps, I'll then be explaining the extra steps that you're going to need to take if you're interested in earning the certificate in data economics and development policy um, for this course. So if you have actually passed the content course with a grade of 50% or more, you're going to need to also take an in-person proctored exam. And you're going to need to pass that in-person proctored exam by earning a grade of 50% or more um, in that proctored exam. The proctored exam runs approximately one week to three weeks after the course ends. So that means that the proctored exam is actually running for two weeks. Prior to this, you're going to need to take two other steps to get to this point. So if you're a DDP learner, you're going to need to also create a MicroMasters profile. And you'll be able to do this on the DEDP MicroMasters uh, portal. And in addition, you'll also need to pay your personalized course fee. You'll need to do both of these things by the payment deadline. And the payment deadline is about one month into the start of the course. So you can do this at any point up until the payment deadline. The next step that you'll need to do, conditional on having earned um, a grade of 50% or more in the content course, is you're going to need to actually sign up for that in-person proctored exam. And only learners who are eligible will be able to do so. you'll be able to do this immediately after the course ends. And then provided that you actually pass uh, the in-person proctored exam with 50% or more, you'll have then earned your DEDP certificate for this course. If you are interested in pursuing the data science and statistics MicroMasters program, then in addition to passing the content course, the one important thing that you need to do is to take and pass another exam, which is timed and it's housed on edX, and it's under the course name Data Analysis in Social Sciences, Assessing Your Knowledge. 
So assessing your knowledge means the final exam. To pass it, you would need more than 60%. This exam typically runs one to two weeks after the content course ends. But prior to that, of course, you would need to register. And to register, you do so like any other edX course. You enroll and verify on edX. This is a verifiable course. This is where you will earn your credentials, so this is where you will pay. The deadline will be near the end of the content course. At that point, you might not know your final result of the course yet, and so you might not know whether you're eligible to take the exam, but do not worry. So you need to f make sure you verify before the deadline. And if, unfortunately, you happen to not pass the content course, you will get a refund. Or uh, if you're a bundle, uh, bundle learner, then you will get your bundle item back. And also make sure that you enroll and verify on edX using the same edX account that you use to enroll for the content course. Great. Then once you actually pass the final exam, you will then satisfy the data analysis component for the SDS MicroMasters. So we realized that the two processes for earning either of the, um, of the MicroMaster certificates might seem a little bit complicated. But we chose to set up the course in this way with having a single shared content course because we thought that having both sets of learners sharing in the same discussion forums where you're able to exchange ideas and perspectives and information would really be invaluable to you. So we wish you best of luck in the course and uh, we hope you enjoy it. See you in the content course.